Good day, welcome sa classroom ni Sir J. So, for this time, sasagutin ko yung nareceive kong question kahapon sa factoring polynomials. So, dito kasi sa klase ng given na to, yung mga nauna nating tips parang hindi sa masakto. Bakit? As I said sa ating mga previous video lesson, ang numbers of factors ng polynomial expression ay nakadepende sa kanyang degree. So, dito sa given natin, we have x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 1. Ang degree ay 3. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong tatlong factors ng polynomial. And then, para mahanap yung possible factors, kukunin natin ang factor ng ating constant, which is 1. At sa example na to, ang factors ng 1 ay 1 at negative 1 lang. So, ibig sabihin, meron lang tayong dalawang possible factors Pero ang hinahanap nating number of factors ay tatlo. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nun, class, between this one and negative one, meron tayong factors na mauulit. Kaya siya magiging tatlo. Pwedeng maging dalawang beses si positive one, isang beses si negative one. Pwede namang isang beses si positive one, dalawang beses si negative one. Or even so, pwede rin ganito, tatlong beses si positive 1, then, hindi factor si negative 1. Or, another way around, hindi factor si 1, and then, tatlong beses si negative 1. So, possible yung mga ganong senaryo. Now, for this example, let's try to find what will be the factor of this given expression. So, maglalagay lang tayo ng additional tips. Yung tinatawag natin na depressed expression. Kasi kung ang gagamitin natin ditong way ay kapares na sa mga previous video lesson, hindi natin makukuha ng tama ang sagot. Isa pa, kapag gagamit tayo ng depressed equation or expression rather, hindi advisable na gumamit ng remainder theorem. Kaya ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay synthetic division. So let's start finding the factor. Unahin natin gamitin ang positive 1. And then, let's have the numerical coefficient of our given. So, we have 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 1. So, let's see. Bring down 1. Then, 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. 0 times 1, 0. Then, negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Then, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, as we can see, 0 ang remainder, ibig sabihin yung 1 ay factor. So, pwede na natin kunin yan. So, x equals 1. Para makuha yung correct factor, lipat lang natin si positive 1. Magiging x minus 1. So, meron na tayong unang factor. Now, ano yung sinasabi natin na, dex, na depressed ex expression? So... Yung answer natin dito sa ating unang synthetic division, we're going to get that. Pag sinulit natin to into algebraic expression, we have x squared plus 0x minus 1. So, yung expression natin dito, ito yung tinatawag natin na depressed expression. And... So, eto ngayon yung gagamitin natin to find what will be the factor or our second factor. Pwede natin gamitin yan, class, kasi this expression is still a factor of our given expression. So, now let's find out what will be the second factor. If we're going to use now negative 1, instead of using this numerical coefficient, ang gagamitin na natin ay yung numerical coefficient ng ating depressed expression. At yung kanyang numerical coefficient, yun din yung naging sagot natin dito sa unang synthetic division. So, we can write that as 1, 0, negative 1. Again, we're going to do synthetic division. So, we have here 1, then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1, 0 minus 1, negative 1, then negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Negative 1 plus 1, we have 0 again. So, since naging 0 ulit, ibig sabihin yung negative 1 is also a factor of our given expression. So, pag sinulat natin yung ating 
uh, correct factor. So we have x is equal to negative 1. Dipat lang natin si negative 1. We have x plus 1. So meron na tayong dalawang factor. We have x minus 1 and x plus 1. Paano natin mahanap yung third factor? Yung third factor, mahanap natin yun dun sa answer natin dito sa synthetic division. If we're going to write this in algebraic expression, we have x minus 1. So, hindi na natin kailangan pang gumamit ng synthetic division ulit. Bakit? Kasi this answer is our third factor. So, kunin natin yung tatlong factor na nakuha natin para makuha natin yung tamang sagot. So, we have this 3. So, yung factor na hinahanap natin, so yung ating answer, we have x plus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 1. So, yan yung tatlo. Pwede naman siyang magkabalibaliktad kahit alin ang unahin mong isulat. So, there you have it, yung ating factors. At ganun natin gamitin yung tinatawag natin na depressed expression. Actually, class, mas advisable na gumamit ka ng depressed e expression kasi nakaka ng process. So, yan lang. Maraming salamat.